All right, guys, this is something a little bit different for you. My father worked at a scrap yard for 42 years as a mechanic. And for 42 years, he carried stuff home. Hood ornaments. Just little different emblems. I'll just be quiet, just kind of scan, let you see some of his collection of stuff. Call him Pappy. Apologize if I'm going too fast. And then out in the middle of the room, he's got other stands that have cow kickers and look at all the little vices. These old trays are full of different little doodads and things he's picked up. If you're ever in Indiana, central Indiana, and you go to a pizza place called Big Woods, you will see pictures of my great grandfather. Hey, Pop. Hey. Just videotaping some of your stuff. Well, yeah, Tina found this thing and brought it to me. What is it? It's just a uh, little knife sharpener. Oh, look at that. Uh huh. He mounted on that board. <laughs> she found it when they was cleaning that down there at his house. Yeah. This is one of Dad's trailers. It's all Maytag washing machine engines. Different styles. There's a Maytag washing machine. And he pulls this trailer to different antique tractor shows and that sort of thing. Here's a cultivator. 
walk behind cultivator that then you put one of the Maytag engines on. Over here's another trailer that he pulls and it's all hay forks and hog oilers. So these are all trolleys that would have been in a loft of the barn and been dropped down to grab the hay. These are called hog oilers. If you don't know what that is, you would fill the tray in the bottom full of oil and the hogs would roll against it and it would pick the oil up and then put the oil on their skin and keep flies off of them. There's all different kinds of designs of them, these balls. You fill the bottom there. Those, I think you filled the top and as they pushed that in, it, it, the oil ran down. Sheds never end. This one's chainsaws and outboard engines. Maytag accessories that go with the Maytag engines. Some of you seen my pictures of my Toro. Dad actually has a couple more that go to grandsons. This one's pretty much identical to mine. The general tractor, it's got the little dump bed. He needs better lighting in this building. Uh -huh. But there's no place to put lighting. <laughs> <You know. laughs> and when the ceiling's covered with all this stuff.
Yeah, sorry, the lighting's not any better in here. He, he doesn't have very good lighting. But like I said, he he worked 42 years at a scrapyard and carried a lot of stuff home. He's taking old steel. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's a steel wheel. He's got them hanging horizontally and then he's used wire to hang wrenches off of them. If I can get in there any better. So yeah, what do you, they're hanging off of a rim or off of a wheel. Just has a lot of stuff. In the other building, we saw a lot of hose nozzles, and that, that was only the beginning of all the garden hose nozzles the man has. <laughs> I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of Dad's stuff. He truly has enjoyed collecting it over the years. I had hoped to interview him at the end of this and ask him about his you know, most prized possession or his favorite items, but as the day wore on, uh, we were actually at his place celebrating his 80th birthday, and he was, he was getting pretty tired by the end of the day, so I didn't, uh, I didn't film anymore and didn't interview him. So we'll save that for a later video. Um, maybe pick up on this. So again, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.